Hello, I'm Ron's wife. My name is Sharice and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be featuring six perfumes, doing a quick little review that I purchased from FragranceNet. Um, full disclosure, this is my first time um, discovering FragranceNet. I was just on looking at some other, other reviews and discovered the website and so far I'm really happy. These are going to be affordable fragrances that are um, a little bit out of favor that's a good word so they're they're not really popular so I just want to try them they were um, most of them were on clearance and it's just all really affordable fragrances so let's get started hey the first one is Splendor by Elizabeth Arden I was not familiar with this scent um, I had previously purchased Red Door I own a um, Fifth Avenue, I own Pretty, uh, Sunflowers. This is a, a scent that I was really not familiar with. So I was a little shocked and then I discovered that it is uh, 24 years old. This came out in 1998. And right off you see that it's a pretty bottle. I think it's nice. Um, it'd be perfect if you want to put it out. Maybe, you know, you need height if you're one of the people that display your, your uh, perfume bottles. So it is big. It is 4.2 fluid ounces. That's very big. And this was the only size available on FragranceNet. The top is a little, I say, sort maybe cheesy because it's, it's very, it's, it's all plastic. So that is a little off-putting. This bottle was right around $20. I'm not sure, I don't have my invoice, but it was right around $20. So this is a um, Eau de Parfum. So I'll give a couple sprays. I did do um, a little bit of research and saw that this fragrance is, um, is, is a discontinued from Elizabeth Arden. I went onto their website and it was not on the website for purchase. So you would have to get it from FragranceNet or another online of uh, fragrance um, retailer. It smells very fresh. It's a really fresh, clean scent. You can smell the lily in here. Um, I say fresh. I'm going to use it. I'm going to say it's a fresh floral. That's a, that's a good descriptor. It's a fresh floral. It's just it's really nice. It's really nice. Hmm. It's really, it's a fresh floral. That, that's, that's a good descriptor. I wore this and um, I really, it, it was, it was fine. It was nice. But one of the drawbacks on it, it was that it is not long lasting. I was out and I think probably about at hour three, it, it had kind of drawn down to where it was just a skin scent, where it was no longer projecting. That part is a drawback for me. But at the price point of $20, maybe it's not so bad. So this is Splendor by Elizabeth Arden. And like I said, I, I own Pretty, which is, which is just like it sounds. It's really pretty. It's soft. And everyone um, probably has smelled sunflower at some point. And you kind of get a little bit of the sunflowers from Elizabeth Arden in this. Because it's a floral, which I which I love florals. Well, I love all scents, but but it's just really really nice. Now, I would recommend this, especially for the size and the price. It doesn't last long, but I would not be repurchasing this. On a scale of one to ten, Splendor by Elizabeth Arden, I would give a seven. Okay, so the next perfume that I love, I really, really love this one, was Cashmere by Chopard. This was a fantastic blind buy for me. I really, really enjoyed this scent. It's just so nice. It's, it's, um, it has a smell that's very, like, high class, but it's inexpensive. Everything here is affordable, and that's that's the get for me. This is the one ounce bottle, or the um, 30 ml. 
and this came out in 1992 so this would be 30 years old it's but it smells fantastic to me I really love this scent and I did look up cashmere like what is the what does it mean I was wasn't familiar with that word c-a-s-m-i-r and it means um, peacekeeper and I can see that because when I wore this I felt peaceful and serene and just really happy because it was just a it's a wonderful scent it, it's just really really great and it's between I'm not sure I want to say this is about this size is a about $17, which is so affordable. And full disclosure, I would have purchased the, the uh, bigger bottle if I knew that I was going to like this 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 uh, fragrance so much. It's woody right away, but then you feel the warmth in it. It's very nice. You can smell the vanilla. You can smell the spice. And the bottle is just so cute. It's just a really nice looking bottle. And one thing I will say about this, this is a long lasting scent and it's not overpowering. So when you walk into the room, it does project that you're wearing the cashmere, but it doesn't uh, slap anyone in the face to where they're, where it's overpowering and it's cloying. It's just really a nice scent. It's lovely. I would use the word exquisite. It's, it just smells so high class it smells like it it's can't really say smells expensive but it's it smells like you would pay more than you did for this bottle it's just really a delightful scent I will say I'll use a um, food term it's just really delicious it's just a great great scent Like I said, and the best part about this is that it is um, long lasting. So you can wear it for the day. You can go out to dinner and you know that the whole time you're having dinner, you have drinks after dessert, whatever, you're going to really be able to still smell this scent. And it's a great scent. So um, Cashmere by Chopard on a scale of one to 10, I would rate this a 10. And this is definitely going to be a repurchase. And I'm going to be repurchasing a bigger bottle next time. Oh, on to the next one. Perfume number three is Double Diamond. I had never, ever heard of this. I was unfamiliar with this, and I was just like, oh, let's see. And I was so skeptical when I ordered this, but right away when you get it, the box does look like um, Calvin Klein's Euphoria, but... That is where the similarities end. <laughs> it's where, which is where they end. This is the bottle, and it's a nice ombre. It, it's of all the scents, I will say, this is the one that was a pleasant surprise for me. I really end up enjoying this scent. Right off the bat, when you smell it, you get a blast of baby powder. That's what you're thinking. Here, you're going, oh my goodness, that's baby powder. But once you wear it and you spray it on your body, and with my body chemistry, as it drew down, you could still smell the baby powder, but it became a much more pleasant. I know it, it was it wasn't full on baby powder, so you didn't get a childish or immature scent that you were wearing. It's soft. It's, it's just a really delightful bottle. This is the uh, 3.4 fluid ounces. This is the only size that was available. And this big bottle was $10. I was so shocked. And that's why I said, oh my goodness, this is going to be a disaster. I thought this was going to smell horrid, but it doesn't. It's a really, really nice scent. It's delightful. It's a, it's also, once it draws down, you, you can smell like the, the hint of the baby powder that you get from first sniff, but it also becomes a floral scent. It's, it's just really fun. And, um, sometimes you need that in your life to kind of match your mood. You want to wear a fragrance that's going to kind of match your mood, just fun and playful. It's just really delightful. One of the things I will say that is another really big added bonus for this scent is that it lasts 
all day. I wore this, I sprayed my body, of course, I sprayed my clothing, I went out for the day, I came home, I put my clothes in the laundry hamper, and then two days later, into my laundry room, as I was pulling things out of the hamper, I could still smell this scent on my shirt. So that's a, an amazing endorsement for a bottle that was $10. That's just so crazy to me, but it's a really pleasant, delightful surprise that I discovered. And I would definitely um, recommend this to anyone. So on a scale of one to 10, double diamond for me is a nine. Wow, that was, that was a really fantastic fragrance. Okay, so we'll go on to fragrance number four and we have Sung by Alfred Sung. This is the one scent that I was familiar with. I had some friends that used to wear this at one point and um, they liked it. And I was kind of on the fence about, about the fragrance and I hadn't smelled it in a really long time. So I was like, well, let's just try it. And like I said, these are very affordable. This bottle is the one ounce or the 30 ml and this was like $12. So for that price point, it was worth it, worth it for me to give it another to give it a try for myself to see how how it works on my me and my body chemistry. And one thing I will say when I went on fragrance nets, this perfume had so many positive reviews. It was really amazing. It was so many reviews that people really really loved this. I mean, there were a few detractors but for the most part this was really really popular so that was another reason that I was like oh my goodness let me go ahead and give it a try I had previously purchased a, um, an Albert uh, um, let's see she I think that's how you pronounce it the other one that's made by Alfred Sung and I love that one and now I love this one equally it's just really really nice I know you said the word nice, but <laughs> this is an oriental fragrance and I don't want to use the word exotic because I don't want to use, um, I don't want to, you know, make it be a certain way, but you can smell the jasmine in here. So that I think that's kind of how they describe it as oriental. You can smell the jasmine in here. It really has some really unusual notes that are not in um, a lot of fragrances. It's soft. You you feel classy when you wear this. I get a I get a classy vibe in here. It's pleasant and it's not overpowering. And one of the things I do like about this, even though it's it's very jasmine forward, the drawdown is is like a, a green floral. So you get the green fresh jasmine scent as it starts to draw down. And that I really like. I enjoy that. This particular fragrance, the last time on me with my body chemistry was, was average. I would say it was about six hours, which was fine for me because the day I wore this, well, I wore, I wore this twice, the two days I wore this, um, it was just, me just, uh, once I was just around the house just to test it out, and another, I was just running errands, just grocery shopping, doing just things for the house that people do do. <laughs> and this, like I said, was really nice. So, um, Sung by Alfred Sung, for me, on a scale of one to 10, I would give this an eight. Very nice. Okay, our fifth perfume is going to be Anne Klein. This is something that I was vaguely familiar with. I know the um, I know the clothing brand, of course, and I did not want to purchase a bottle this big. But like I said, on fragrance net, they were very limited. But this is the three point three fluid ounces. It's an eau de parfum, and just like the other ones, this was a blind buy for me. I was not familiar with this scent at all. I will say this scent is um, feminine, 
It's soft. It's subtle, but it's also complex. You can, you, it's like you have, um, you can smell lots of different notes in here. But the scent itself is not overpowering. It's not a strong scent. It's not a um, offensive scent. It's flowers. This smells like a flower bouquet. So that's when I say it's complex. You can smell a lot of different um, notes in here. It smells like a flower bouquet. It came out in 1984. So it's um, what, almost 40 years old, 30, 38 years old. And it smells like a classic scent that would not work today. There are some, I did a previous uh, review on some, some uh, classic scents that I love and I still wear. But this one, I don't think would play today. Because your first spray on this is not a good spray. And it does draw down and it becomes more floral to me. I end up, I like it more because it come, it becomes more floral and more powdery. And this is a long lasting scent. So that is a, a huge plus because um, it's nothing more frustrating than you spend all this money and you wear, you're wearing your scents and they go away relatively quickly. This is a really long lasting scent. But like I said, for me, this is a no-go. This would not be a repurchase. And on a scale of 1 to 10 for Anne Klein, I would give this a 5. I would recommend it if you um, want to try it, if you want to layer it, you have ideas, because it is long-lasting. And if you get something that you can layer with, and it might extend it. But for me, this is... This is, would not be a repurchase. This is only a five. That's too bad. And my last and final scent, which, which was another pleasant surprise for me, is Rose Seduction by Women's Secret. And I'm like, whoa. This First of all, this box is like oddly big. I don't know. It's a lot of unnecessary waste in there. But when I got it and I... First smelled it, first initial sniff. I was like, whoa, I'm not sure that smells familiar. This is 3.4 fluid ounces or 100 ml. And it's a, it's a nice size bottle. It's, uh, this is, I might take this off, I don't know, I guess I could. It's, it's not a, a bad looking bottle, but it's a little off a little bit. But I don't know if you can see in here, it does have some little flakes in there. And when I wore it, let's see if I can stir it up. When I wore it, it did not come off on my skin. So you couldn't see that. And um, of course, you see I have brown skin. So you think that it would be able to be maybe iridescent or something like that. But it was not. But like I said, when you do the initial sniff, it's very familiar and you're going, what does that smell like? And I'll tell you exactly what it smells like. It smells like another perfume that I currently own. The one by Lancome, which is um, La Vibella. This smells very similar to that, which is very shocking. Because the price point on this is $15 on FragranceNet. Um, I did find this on Amazon as well. And on Amazon, I think it was $26 for this size. But it smells remarkably like the Lancome perfume. It's floral. It's fruity. It's a sweet vanilla. And like I said, I was trying to find reviews on this. And I was trying to do a little bit of research about this fragrance. And I saw two reviews. And um, one gave it a five star. And the other one gave it a one star. So make of that what you will, but I end up really enjoying this scent and I did not think I was going to, especially when I saw those, uh, the two, it might be more now, but when I saw the two very different reviews, but it smells a lot like Lancome, not as, um, uh, not as strong, but, but it, you can smell that in it. And I don't know if, um, this company 
this company is out of uh, Madrid, Spain. I don't know if, if the purpose was to make this a dupe or not, or if this is just what they do there. But it's a very, very lovely scent. It really is. I was so surprised that I really enjoyed this scent. And one of the drawbacks, I will say, about this scent is that it is not long-lasting. I would say, for me and my body chemistry, it only lasted about three hours. But at a price point of $15, you can reapply if that's something that, that you would be prone to do. Like I said, I was out, you know, when you're, I was out and I didn't think to bring the bottle with me to reapply and to kind of re-up. But it's just, a, it's a really nice scent. And I would recommend this. So for um, Women's Secret, Rose Seduction by Women's Secret, I would give this a solid 8 out of 10. It's fantastic. I was so shocked. So of all the scents that I featured, I would say that Cashmere would be my absolute favorite. This was a 10 out of 10 for me, and I would totally recommend, and I will be repurchasing this when the bottle is empty, when this one ounce is empty. I'll probably buy a bigger bottle. The one that I would not recommend, and it's painful because I, I really am a lover of a kind of all scents, but this, it was just something about this that I just did not like, and I love florals. I love the smell of, the, of a bouquet and the complexity of some other fragrances, but this for me is just a no-go. So it, it pains me because I could say I, I love fragrances, but this I will be trying to give away to some family or some of my nieces or somebody who would want to have this, but this is just a no-go for me. I would not ever wear this out. I hope you enjoyed my video. I tried to do a, a affordable pro affordable products that anybody could wear anytime, and that's what I do. I don't do seasons. I don't do um, day night, date night this or night. I just wear whatever I want to wear when the mood strikes me because I just love fragrances and sometimes I just want to wear what I want to wear. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Please leave a comment because I'm going to be doing more. I'm going to be sh showcasing all my other fragrances that I have, and I'll just be expanding my channel. I will start. So just give me a like, a follow, and a comment. Thanks so much. I'll talk to you later. Bye.